hi everyone it's me indra welcome back to my channel today in this video i am going to discuss about the geometrical meaning of derivative of a function we already discussed about the basic meaning of the derivative of a function uh, please watch that video once again then you will be very clear about uh, this topic geometrical meaning of the derivative of a function without wasting any further time let's get started here today's topic is geometrical meaning of derivative of a function let's have a quick recap uh, on the topic um, the meaning of the derivative of a function what is the uh, definitions of the uh, derivative of a function let's have a quick recap the derivative of a function uh, y is equals to let's take a function y is equals to f of x which is continuous in an open interval i uh, and its derivative uh, is just uh, denoted by dy by dx it is the one representation or uh, derivative of the function y is equal to fx or it is also denoted by um, f prime of x f prime of x or it is also denoted by just y prime and these are the uh, notation for the derivative of the function or we can uh, write uh, just d by dx of the function f of x these are the notations for the derivative of a function y is equals to f of x and the its uh, formula is its original formula to calculate for the calculation is uh, limit delta x approaches to 0 of the function f x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x here we just take uh, the limiting value of the function f of x plus delta x minus f x over delta x it is the limiting value of this function and uh, these are the some basic formula for calculations of the uh, derivative of a function uh, these are the uh, very basic way to calculation uh, let's discuss uh, about the meaning geometrical basically geometrical meaning of the derivative of the function let's discuss about the meaning what is the meaning of uh, this derivative of a function f of x let's talk about the meaning here uh, let's make a graph first here let me make the graph this is the rectangular coordinate system x axis and the horizontal vertical axis is y axis this is intersection of the x axis and the y axis this is the taken as the origin reference point and let me draw a graph of a function let's say uh, uh, this is the curve of a function y is equals to f of x let's say uh, this is the graph of the function y is equals to f of x and here in this function in this graph let's take a point uh, let's take a point this is let's say this is the point p and it has the coordinate x comma y here we just take a point p on the curve which has the coordinate x comma y in the cartesian coordinate format and this means uh, this distance uh, this distance from the origin to this point is just x and this vertical distance is just y let's draw it into the rectangular coordinate format this is just y this distance is y and this horizontal distance is just x Here we take a point P on the curve and uh, let's uh, do the sum increment here the this is the X let's do the sum increment let's uh, shift this point to some distance let's do the sum increment by Delta X Delta X uh, 
means the increment in small increment increment in the variable x similarly delta y is an increment small increment in the variable y please remember the meaning of these two notation delta x and delta y these are the small increment in the variable x and y respectively and let's increment this x by some value delta x and let's say this distance this increment distance let's say this is just delta x here i am going to increment this x by delta x similarly uh, then at this condition here is the point its coordinate is x plus delta x its coordinate is this uh, coordinate of this point is x plus delta x is the axis of or this point and at this condition uh, the value of the y corresponding value of the y will be this this distance will be the value of the y this vertical distance and at this let's drop on the y axis These are the perpendicular projection, and this is this uh, in the here from this point, from this point to this point, so the distance will be just delta y. Due to this small increment in x, and that is delta x, and the y also increment by the factor delta y delta x and the delta y are the small increment in the x and y respectively here we uh, first take a point p x comma y and then we increment uh, the axis and the ordinate both by the sum factor and delta x and delta y then here we got the neighboring point let's say this point is the q it has the coordinate its uh, horizontal displacement is x plus delta x and the vertical is y plus delta y y plus delta y so the coordinate of the point q is x plus delta x comma y plus delta y this is the this q is the neighboring point of the point p original point is here p and let's join the point p and the q let's join Here we just join the point P and the Q, and here a uh, uh, second. This uh, this is the second second PQ is formed here. Let's find out uh, the slope of this second PQ. Now, let me write here. Slope of second here the PQ. PQ is the here the second. Let's calculate. The slope of it, and by using the very uh, basic formula, we calculate the uh, slope of the point when the two points are given. That is now using the formula y two minus y one over x two minus x one. This is the formula in the coordinate geometry to calculate the slope of any straight line. Let's plug in the value. Here the y two is just uh, y plus delta y minus y1 is here just y over x2 is here x plus delta x minus x1 is here just x after simplifying these expressions we will get the y y cancel out delta y over delta x here the slope let's say the slope of the second pq is a m here the slope of the PQ second PQ is here calculated as a delta y over delta x. This is the slope of the uh, slope of the uh, second PQ. And then let me write here. Uh, here we just calculate the slope of this uh, second PQ. And when when the, this increment when 
this increment delta x is very 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 closer to this original point when this increment is very uh, uh, near to very closer to zero that means this distance this distance is very closer if uh, the this distance delta x is very closer uh, then at this situation the point q uh, the point uh, q will be translated will be shifted to the very near uh, very closer point to the point p when the delta x is uh, nearly equals to zero it tends to zero then the point q will be uh, very closer to the point p then at this situation the point q will be when this value is very 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 closer to zero this is very small then the point uh, q will be very closer to the point p will be very closer very very closer uh, very very closer to the point uh, to the point p very very closer to the point p if the delta x is to the separation is this increment is mm, very small let's say it tends to zero then the point p and the q is uh, they are the point p and the q will be coincide nearly coincide sufficiently close they are very uh, very very close to each other then that is when the delta x is zero uh, when the value of the delta x approaches to zero then that implies the point q tends to point p they are very closer by this input when the we make the delta x is a very uh, very close to this point then this will happen the q tends to point p and the when the uh, point q approaches to point p then uh, this uh, this second here the pq the second pq will be in the form of the uh, tangent then when this point q shifted to point p then this second will be the tangent at this point let's draw the tangent at this point when the delta x is very closer to zero when the delta x tends to zero then the second will become the tangent at the point p this second this red line will be shifted to this black line when the delta x is zero then the this line will be shifted on the black line will be merged here this will be the tangent tangent the second will be the tangent here when the delta x is very closer to zero then the second will be the tangent and when the delta x uh, tends to zero uh, then the derivative uh, the derivative is uh, we already mentioned the de uh, definition of the derivative uh, dy over dx is just limit delta x approaches to zero the value of delta y over delta x it is the one uh, way for defining the derivative of a function it is the derivative of the y and when here the slope is this is the slope uh, when the value of the delta x tends to zero then this second will be the tangent and the slope will be at these situations the slope will be uh, this value will be the uh, will be the slope of this tangent when the value of the delta x approaches to zero then the second will be the 
second will be the tangent and at this situation at this situation the uh, this value this value will become the slope of this tangent line this will be the slope of this tangent line this is just slope of the tangent line tangent line at the original point p p x comma y so we can conclude that the derivative uh, of a function of any function gives the slope of the uh, tangent at the point at that point and this uh, second will merge will shift it to this point shifted to this point then the second will be the tangent and this value when the delta x approaches to zero then the this value will be the slope of the this line tangent please remember the point therefore the uh, derivative of a function y with respect to a x gives the slope of the tangent at the point x comma y this is the geometrical meaning of the derivative of a function this is the geometrical interpretation or the uh, derivative of a function at a particular point this is the meaning we uh, derive uh, this uh, meaning this geometrical interpretation by using the graph by using the graph this is very easy please remember the very important point the derivative of a function always gives the slope of the tangent at the point x comma y t y by d x gives the slope of the tangent at the point x comma y in our next video we will discuss more about the uh, derivative and how to calculate the derivative of uh, any functions we have the some rules for calculation uh, in our next video we, we will discuss about that uh, this much for today please keep watching keep loving this channel thank you